The vibe that you get in Manchester. It's raw and you can see it. It's like you can see a little bit of history right there in front of you. My name is Indidi Akubia. When I discovered metal, I um, just fell in love with it. There's a strength to it. It holds its structure, yet it's soft as well. So it lets you push the material. It holds the form beautifully. The course I did at the Royal College of Art was um, silversmithing, goldsmithing. So we were absorbed in a lot of creativity. But the thing with the metal for me that David Watkins drummed into me was like functional silverware. I got the opportunity to make up functions really because I didn't really know. <laughs> <laughs> about what function or how silver was used. It will look quite sculptural, but you can still put something in it. So you're handling it, you're living with it. It's not just something that you can just, just sit on the shelf. I love pattern in anything, to be honest. I take a lot of photographs of things that I see around me. So I literally draw from that and then play with it, play with those patterns that I've drawn, that I've photographed. With these structures in organic forms, there's always some sort of order. So I would kind of try and represent that order. So you may not be able to see the relation straight away, but there is a, a link. It's tough going to start off with, because obviously, yeah, you do get a, literally a flat piece of sheet or a disc. And then you would start to raise it using a specific traditional technique. You also have to uh, listen to the metal as you're hitting. Quite a nice thing to be able to, yeah, just relax and enjoy the rhythm of the making. You can hit it too hard. You can labor, stress the material. So I'm assessing it all the time. We're constantly moving the material around as we're hitting it. So each hammer mark would overlap the last one. So you can see here, I've started to raise and it's going in. That's that. After every course of hammering, we cook the edge so it doesn't just become thin. There's various different types of hammers that we use. I also use a lot of what we call stakes, which are shaped and polished, and I hammer on those to do raising. Nice and smooth around the edge, so it doesn't actually mark the silver. By the time it's got to the form, it's quite, for me personally, it's quite uh, soft. It's, it's round, it's, it's ready for a pattern to be put into the surface. So every piece would end up with a grid and then I can draw a pattern on. When I'm happy with the pattern, I would get my hammer and then go to the working area and then I'd start to push and pull the material. It doesn't look the same from every side. It's, it's, there's that movement within it.
there's a lot of hesitation i will say sometimes when you're trying to finish an object for me personally there's there's so many ideas that i want to get out so yeah you have to keep keep making really When I was at the Royal College of Art, which is not far away from the V&A, we used to go there nearly every week. <laughs> it's lovely to see the different types of silverware. I went in there not so long ago with a friend of mine and I was like, oh my God, that, that's me. <laughs> that's, that's mine. <laughs> 